my name is Corky, and I want to give you a little sample of the program that we do for schools and libraries to learn about bats. So I'm going to share my screen with you. I do a combination of a PowerPoint and showing of live bats, which I think is pretty cool because there's nothing quite like seeing a live animal, right? So I am with Northern California Bats and we do wildlife rescue. So we're taking in bats that people find when they're hurt and we try to help them to recover and go back out into the wild. But I also really like sharing about these amazing animals because they are mammals that can fly and they fly with the same bones we have in our arms and our hands. So if we look at the wing on the bat, we can see those fingers sticking out and the thumb that comes up at the top. And when they fly, they sort of do the butterfly stroke. Now, most bats around the world eat insects. All of our bats here in the United States eat insects and nothing else. Bats eat bugs. They don't eat people. But now, remember, this is a sample, so we only get a little tidbit of the song. We also talk about echolocation. Bats are not blind. They have eyes. They see with their eyes. They don't see color for the most part, with the exception of the fruit bats in tropical areas. But our bats, they see in black and white and gray, much like this cartoon. Yet they're hunting for insects in the dark, so their sonar, their tick, 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 becomes very important for that. So again, we are with Northern California Bats. This is our website and there's more information there. But now I wanna share with you a big brown bat, which I have brought with me. And I'm gonna switch cameras so that I could show it to you up close. So here she is, big brown bat. And we can talk about adaptations. We can compare contrast between species. I usually share three different species when I'm working um, with presentations. So the big brown bat is a beetle eater. They eat the beetles that eat our crops. And you can see she has good sized teeth. Mm. They like to live around wood. So we tend to see them under the bark of trees or sometimes up in the hollows. Sometimes we see them in palms. We also find them in bridges, caves, and under people's eaves. They're very furry. So big brown bats do well in many different kinds of climates. They can deal with cold weather. They can deal with hot weather. They can be up in the mountains. They can be in the valleys. They can be on the coast. They're quite versatile bat. They have a lot of skin between their legs that can be used for capturing insects while they're flying. So all of this is skin, the tail membrane, which I like to call the catcher's mitt because they can spread it out and grab an insect while they're flying. And we talked a little bit about the hand wing. Yep. And you can see nice big wing here on this bat. Thumb sticking up, lots of muscles in there, some blood vessels. The small bones are finger bones and the larger bone over on this side is the forearm, the arm bone. Little echo look. Oh, look at that. She left me a treat. Hmm. One of the things about working with wildlife, sometimes they poop on you. Right? So that's guano. And guano actually is really good fertilizer. So I'll put that out in my yard when we're done. I do want to offer her a real treat, though. She does like to eat mealworms. She would never eat a mealworm in the wild but she doesn't live in the wild because her wing got injured. So she stays with me and 
she does enjoy her mealworms. Mm. Sometimes she'll lick her lips. They're very clean. They groom a lot. Do you like another one? One more. She has big teeth. Good for crunching beetles. They'll also eat the moth. They'll eat mosquitoes. They'll eat other insects. But their favorites are the beetles. All right, I'm going to put her back in her cage. And I'm going to change my camera back. So that's a little bit about what we share when we have the opportunity to do a presentation about bats. So thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Corky, and I'm with Northern California Bats, norcalbats.org.